What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be going into how to get a dark, slowed Travis Scott type of sound with any beat. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're gonna be going over how to get that dark, slow Travis Scott sound with no FL Studio, with no gross beat, just with Studio One. And um, this it, it's really simple to do, fam. Um, you just gotta kinda think outside the box. Now, if you have um, been to my site and you've been to the beginner's tutorials and you've went to do the template, then you are in luck. This tutorial is is gonna be uh, very easy for you. If you haven't, you're gonna wanna stop your life right now. You're gonna gonna watch that because it's gonna improve your life um, just in um, ways that you can't even comprehend. Um, and uh, it's going to make it so easy to follow along with this tutorial. Okay, now that we got people that are gonna be able to follow along with this, basically what the, what, um, uh, Travis and and them are doing when they when they make these type of tracks is they're producing you know the track regular and then they're just uh, like just beating it up with gross beat so for example I have like this loop going on So that would be like okay for like the A section, but if you really wanted to like, you know, darken everything up and do something different, you would want to, um, you know, kind of slow down all the instruments. Now, um, there's a couple ways to go about doing it. Um, and all of it goes through exporting either the song or the stems and bringing it back into the arrange window. Um, and this is if you don't want to use gross beat. If you could, if you want to use gross beat, um, then just do it with gross beat. It's it's super easy. But um, if you don't have gross beat, you can go to export stems, right? And just let's get rid of all this. We're not gonna. We don't want this. 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 We don't want any of this. I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. No, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this or that or that. What I, all I want is I'm going to export my i'm going to export my drums my filter and my band bus uh the drums is obviously the drums the band is all the instruments and the filter is the both of those buses together and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure i have um preserve mono tracks and um import to track clicked and what this is going to do is this is going to make sure it's wave 24 bit also this is going to give me the output of those um of those buses in an audio waveform. Okay, so now I have this. So I got, so I have just my drums. Then I have just my instruments here. Okay, and then I have both of them. So if I, for example, wanted to, you know, get like a dark, slower sound on the whole thing, I would just hold down Alt and to, to where I seen that clock icon turn up and just drag this to the right for, you know, double the amount of bars. Now you'll hear this slow down a bunch. Oops. Now I find that, you know, with the 808 and stuff like that, it's, it kind of, um, I don't like the way the stretch algorithm kind of works with those frequencies. So what I like to do is I'll just take this here and just stretch the instruments, but you know, you might like the way that sounds. That might be your vibe. And then we'll listen to this. And then we can also take the pitch down. So let's take it, let's, let's drop the pitch down an octave. And see what that does for us. And then we could just, then we could just experiment, try it with the drums.
So now that I got that, again, this is no grow speed. You don't have um, anything, anything processing. So it really helps out your computer processing power. Once I have, you see that little snowflake or whatever down there that lets you know that there's still processing going on behind it. I'll just go ahead and bounce it. Control B. So now I have this A section going on with my song and I can pro I can either I can either choose to use the same drums or or program different drums. So yeah, you can you can go ahead and take that method and apply it to you know old beats that you that you thought like yo you know this this really isn't going. Go ahead and bounce out the bus channel or bounce out the whole song and then you know you resample it, change the pitch, change the timing. Um, but that's you know that's pr pretty much what's happening on those uh, on those baked, uh, on those breakdowns and uh, on the different tracks that you hear that have just that slow um pitch down um crazy feel to it um and you know you got reverb to this or delay or uh distortion and just really make it your own but this is really the key on how to make a dark slow travis scott type of beat so this is concrete zebra with craft master production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one